is a bit of a little known trick. We're going to remove this tapered roller bearing cup by welding onto it. Uh, so the idea is we're going to put a few blobs of weld, a couple of short runs. It's going to put a lot of heat into it, it and then we'll cool it in a bucket of water and it'll shrink and it should just fall out in our hands. Might just need a little bit of a tap from behind. But even though this one's easy to get to, it's a good example of uh, how to do it. And when you get stuck in a blind hole and you need to get one of these bearings out, it's quite a good trick to have. Just one little tip. It's quite oily on the inside. I've left it like that, uh, mainly because I have to clean it before I assemble it anyway, but that'll help to stop the spatter from sticking. So makes everything a little bit nicer and easier to clean up later. That's it there. Doesn't have to be anything neat. I've just gone halfway around. It's a fairly decent sized bead. Just dunk that in a bucket of water, which is That's a surprise. Oh, there we go. Came out by hand. Perfect. It's that easy. This one took a bit more than the other side. But now it's loose. Okay. So, just went halfway around on each of them. See that one there? I went pretty close to welding it into the housing. Don't do that. It sucks when you do that. But there you go. Good little trick. Did not have to use a hammer. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this stuff. Thanks, guys.